رسول کریم حبیب العظیم مدلی سیدی سلطان العلیم شیخ عبد الفیز داغستانی سرش محمد نازم عادل حکانی مولانا شیخ شام کبانی شیخ عدنان کبانی شیخ محمد عادل مرد خالق الخوش دوانی صاحب زمان سید محمد المهدی علیه السلام روح الله سیدنا عیسی علیه السلام سیف الله سیدنا علیه السلام ثم سیدنا باقی صدیق سیدنا عمر سیدنا عثمان امام الحسن علیه السلام امام الحسین علیه السلام سیدات الفاطمة رضی اللہ علیہ السلام سائل و صداتنا و صدقینا الفاتحة ارکی شفا دیا رسول کریم آمین انشاءاللہ فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اتی اللہ اتی رسول و اولو الامر منکم and always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajus al daifu miskeen al zalim jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence alhamdulillah this holy month of Rabbil Awal the holy birth of Sayyidina Muhammad and Allah's dress upon this reality Surat al Nam the 27 and its relationship with the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and the immensity of the surah in which Allah gives back the missing Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem that we started on Surah Tawbah with no Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and in this cave of realities and entering into the reality of Taaseen tilka ayat al Qur'an wal kitab al Mubeen. Allah later in this holy surah gives back the Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem that was missing. When a note came to Sayyidina Sulaiman salam describing, Inna huwa Sulaiman wa inna huwa Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, a note that he had passed to Shiva, Queen Shiva. Means uh, this reality of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Allah draws our attention in this holy month, this holy birth month, this holy reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and that every Prophet is a reality in the prophecy of Sayyidina Muhammad and Sayyidina Sulaiman represents the power and authority of the physical king. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. That the level of dunya in which Allah gave a kingdom in which He had granted to no one else. These were the signs of a physical authority and these were the signs from the signs of Sayyidina Muhammad that every Prophet represents realities of Prophet and this kingdom and the control that it has. For us who may wonder or people ponder, who says Prophet has all these powers? This is why Allah gives these different realities in the story of these Prophets so that we would understand that when Sayyidina Sulaiman has this immense power in which all creatures are under his command from the jinn, from the malaika, from all these different spiritual beings, ifrits and shayateen are all under the command of Sayyidina Sulaiman and that he has such a power 
in which his armies were moving on a carpet with control of the wind. And that he had such an authority in which to hear the creatures and command the creatures. That his armies were filled with animals lined up with a discipline in rows. So means Allah is showing a complete authority and that authority was not in Sayyidina Sulaiman it was given to Sayyidina Sulaiman and that was given through a ring. So all the scholars agreed that Sayyidina Sulaiman didn't have that power, he prayed for a power and authority from his Rabb. And his Rabb and the higher authority sent upon him a ring, a majestic ring. And alhamdulillah from the knowledge of awliya these are the sunnas of Sayyidina Muhammad And with the ring from the presence of Prophet Look at then the immensity of the power that opened upon this earth. Because the one whom has power of the heavens, his power is all encompassing. The one whom has control inside in the world of light no doubt has power over everything outside, that's the given. And the one whom chases power only outside is empty inside. So means the dunya people do it all wrong. They go for the external power, the power of this world. They try to gain an authority and dominion and money and whatever they want of power, jobs. And it's only dunya and in inside they have absolutely no connection and empty. And that that power and wealth or authority is empty, they die and nothing goes with it. But the system of the heavens establishes for us, spend your time connecting to the authority of the heavens. Because if it's anything you want from dunya, you must be first authorized through akhirah. Means the world of light, the one whom reaches kulli shay encompasses everything. When he reaches to the hands of power and to the hands of authorities, spiritual authorities, he has dominion over the physical world. That becomes a given. So whatever people seek they should first make their connection to the heavens. Make their connection very strong to the heavens. As a result of that strength within the heavens, then look what opened for Sayyidina Sulaiman. Immensity of wealth, immensity of authority, immensity of everything under his dominion and under is subjected to him by his authority and power. And Allah is showing these realities and for awliyaullah's knowledge is that this is from the humility of Prophet he didn't want to show that. But don't for doubt think that the Prophet of Bani Israel had more authority than Sayyidina Muhammad Allah's most chosen messenger, the only one created to speak for His Divine the Presence. Means it's all from the dominion and authority of Sayyidina Muhammad that he gave the ijazah and the permission to Sayyidina Sulaiman So means these are the immensities when we come into their realities and the dominions and realities of the Prophets of Allah it grants us a better acquaintance with the reality of Prophet into the holy month of Rabbil Awwal, the third lunar month, Allah is then giving us an understanding of the kingdom. That from that fire 
everything is blessed. The knowledges come to you, blessings come to you, guidance comes to you. From the presence of that Divinely Fire Ta'aseen, Allah describes all the karmat of Sayyidina Musa was established for him. From the presence of that fire that put your hand into your chest and out came a miraculous light from the right hand of Sayyidina Musa And the light within the right hand is an immense reality that Allah describes the people on the Day of Judgment that a light will come from their hand, their right hand. And these are the people of the right, not leftists. So till today Allah wrote the program, the leftists were not with Allah But the conservative and right should be closer to the heavens than leftist ideology. And even Allah grants that a light will come from their hand which is Fatah rahmah So it means all these miracles came to Sayyidina Musa in the presence of that flame. So imagine then what that flame does for his own nation And the kingdom that's established and the authority that is given from a ring in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad What do you think of the rings under the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad and his own nation? Means our life is to carry the love of Prophet keeping the revival of the Holy Sunnah and knowing the immense realities of His presence And that a ring from the Sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad is enough to open all the powers that opened for Sayyidina Sulaiman And Nashbandiya carries that reality and carries the secret of that najm, that star of Sayyidina Sulaiman and what it represented of authority. It was the star of Sayyidina Dawood given to the presence of Sayyidina Sulaiman and its realities to open up for his nation a protection and a mulk and power. And all of that star and the reality of that star is owned by Sayyidina Muhammad the star maker. So means from all of this even comes the reality of the star, the reality of the soul, all the teachings we have on the reality of this six-pointed star. The reality of two triangles, one triangle up and one triangle down. The triangle up and the power of the soul, this is only from the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad Because who can open up the heavenly kingdom? Because in, in our days become clear, we said there is no more key into the heavens. One cousin became mushrik because he called his Prophet God, their key now became void. It's like you go somewhere when the key doesn't work anymore, their key once you become mushrik and say that the one whom you love is God, everything is void, all barakahs void, all entry is void. The other cousin says he's waiting for a Prophet who will call himself Hashim, God. His key became void. There is no key into the heavens. There is no one who can say from those 
deen that they can take a knowledge and understand the reality of the soul and receive an authority to open the soul when their key is void. How are they going to open up their deen? How are they going to open up? their maqam of faith and then how will they open up maqam al-ihsan and perfection. The deen became corrupt by what they're saying and believing. There can be no faith in the heart for someone who calls a man God. Allah says, it's such a crime in which the throne shakes. So people say, oh they also believe in God like us, they don't believe in God at all. They are now calling a man to be the creator. So means that deen became void. Their faith, you can't have faith on something fake. You can have imaginary faith but there's nothing there. As a result the two foundations of the pyramid of their soul collapsed. And as a result absolutely no maqam and perfection, how could you be perfect? when you don't even have the foundation of your religion nor the principles of your faith all destroyed. So then what, what's existing there? If the reality is gone, shaitan must be filling it with a falsehood, a fake light. So the deen and the feeling they have is a deception, the faith they have are the lights of Las Vegas. You know you pass by cities they have so many lights and people are mesmerized by lights because shaitan knows how to deceive people from the realities of the lights of heaven. He knows that we are attracted to luminous beings and luminous realities of paradise. If he can't give them paradise he gives them fluorescent lights and neon lights, it gives fake. So that means the faith that the people of that reality think they have is fake. If they move towards mushrik it becomes falsified, the key becomes void as if no more key, no more entry, no maqam al ihsan so it means now the upper triangle no access. When you can't access the reality of your soul anymore and you can't bring the power and authority of your soul anymore, what happens then for your lower triangle? Your lower triangle the opposite of your religion is ignorance, you were supposed to bring your religion to fight away ignorance. If you don't have faith what do you have in your lower triangle at the point of your heart? Anger. So they're an angry people. Anyone who cross them they want to kill them. They talk of others killing but they kill in the millions. angry people. If you don't agree with us then you must be against us therefore we annihilate you. That must be an extreme anger, not people of faith. So what's happening then? Ignorance is coming, anger is emanating within the heart and then the lower quadrant becomes fire extreme fire and that's all that you see coming is just fire, fire, fiery character, fiery desires, fire everything. So a nation in which their upper reality no longer can access what happens? They become overwhelmed in fire, the desire to burn themselves and burn others and it seems good to them. 
Allah describes shaitan comes to people, makes their bad deeds seem like something intelligent and good to them. You hear the discussions they have, oh we have overpopulation, it's okay if six out of seven people go. People eating and consuming too much, we're creating carbon tax, carbon… the carbon is us that they're talking about, we're a carbon creation. They don't want carbon, they're not talking about the trucks, the airplanes, the ships that produce millions and millions and millions of carbon but they're worried about how many humans are breathing. So it means a, a fiery reality has entered upon the earth. So these are the proofs that people see. Why? Because they don't have a key anymore. So it means the immensities of these realities when we enter into the realities of Sayyidina Sulaiman and the kingdom is essential. If people understand the authority of the shaykhs of Sulaimaniyah that they inherit the power of the star, the reality of the star and that's why they can teach about this kingdom. Others don't understand it and say, why are you talking about these things and jinns and, and Sulaiman and this and this and this because they don't understand what's happening. So Sayyidina Sulaiman represents the authority of this earth. Its reality is with Prophet whom controls that star and understands that star, has authority of that star, has a dominion over earth. And their rings are ignited by the presence of Prophet and they have under their authority the jinn, malaika, budar, nujab, niqab, awtad, wal akhyar. All seven categories of heavenly beings are under the authority of this Sulaimaniya awliya. That they understood the knowledge, this is a knowledge in which Prophet has given to them. When we study this knowledge, we understand the battle of the kingdom right now. So these are real ones that understand the authority, they understand the upper reality of the soul, they understand the reality of the body, they understand that only the soul can entrap the body and bring a discipline and that they need the key of Muhammadun Rasulullah to enter into the heavens. Because the only deen of Allah is submission, is Islam. That's first lock on the Muhammadan key. The only station of faith is to love Prophet more than you love yourself. This is the second lock on that key. Maqam al ihsan is to worship as if you see Allah and if you don't know that Allah sees you. That can only be achieved by the Muhammadan haqqaiqs. So means this lock only goes in with mifta rahmah the key of Sayyidina Muhammad One of the names of Prophet is mifta rahmah the key of mercy. So all other keys have become void. So then whom holds the power of the kingdom? is the Muhammadan haqqaiq. Then now look at the imitated kingdom. They falsify that they have authority of the star. They show that reality and it's empty. Everything they propagate has to be imitated by shaitan because they have no more access to that reality. So everything that they do and every ritual they do is a satanic imitation of a haqqaiq. They don't have authority. 
they don't have the key, they don't have the ring. So everything established now in their dunya is by the illusions and delusions of shaitan upon people, right? So they have then communities and groups of societies. They don't have the haqqaiq, so shaitan takes a group of powerful people, puts them in a room and says, okay why you don't wear like this band around your waist? Why don't you throw your fingers up like this? Why don't we go like this? All sorts of silly things that these people are doing and shaitan giving them a power. Then why don't you go harm something and I give you more power? Why don't you go harm something else and I give you more power? And all along they're being fooled by shaitan thinking they have achieved an authority and that they are the people whom have authority over this world. But that's where we began this story. The shaitan fools people to think they have an authority over this world. When in reality they have an empty matchbox making lots of noise. But because of what they pursued they have been cut off from the hereafter. So they got a real bad deal. And the reality is to pursue the light, pursue the Muhammadan haqqaiq, pursue the authority within the heavens, reach to the star of the heavens and the keys of the heavens and whom Allah grants the kingdom of the world of light has a kingdom of all dimensions of the light and the world of form. But the one whom only achieves what is a false perception of the authority of the physical world achieves nothing. And even in all their planning, you look at them now they're like a bad uh, sci-fi movie, even have a German accent like the Dr. Evil. <laughs> we're going to do all these things, we're going to take everything away from people and they will be happy. We will give them uh, cancer grown meat and they will eat it like very bad sci-fi movie. But all along when they speak they don't believe in Allah And Allah reminds that their plan but Allah's plan is always better. It already encompassed what they're trying to do. But the real mulk and the real reality, that's why the realities of Sayyidina Sulaiman have to do with the heaven, the kingdom. That to understand the star, understand these realities of Sayyidina Muhammad that he gave to Bani Israel. But the real owners is the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad and it was hidden throughout the history of Islam amongst awliya. It was always on the door of their masjids and all of the calligraphy because Prophet is the owner of that reality. We pray that Allah grant from the immensities of the secrets of Sayyidina Sulaiman and the realities of the heaven, the kingdom, the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad and that open within our hearts these realities. Like we said the night before that this nation is a nation that has a and should have a strong heart and close off the mind. If we become too heavy in our mind and a weakened heart we lose the reality. This reality is based on immense heart power and to shut off the faculty of the mind and the whisperings and overthinkings that Allah gives to us in the last few surahs that we're teaching, at least be more loyal than a dog. People think and sit in groups and think they're awliya. In fact Allah says, we well, maybe not want to shoot so high and at least have the loyalty better than a dog. 
If you can think to yourself, I'm going to be more loyal than this dog and if I get rocks thrown at me, I'm not going to growl, I'm not going to bark, I'm not going to give angry expressions like I'm not going to attack you and eat you. Allah says, at least be better than a dog. Now in this surah Allah said, can't you have a little bit more spiritual power than an ant? An ant, an ant. <laughs> so people think very big and high of themselves and Allah said, this come back to reality. Why can't you have more power than ant where you can sit and communicate with your people? That if you harm the ant, it sends a frequency to all the ants to come and get it. Then your house will be filled with more ants. If they find rizq and sustenance, they act as a community to conquer. You never see one ant taking and running away so that his community can't eat it. Means the, the collective nature and the immense reality of a namda ant. There's so much to, to meditate and contemplate on how when they come together they act as one, the ocean of tawheed. Imagine a nation that if you punched one they came together for La ilaha illallah Muhammad or Rasulullah and they would have devastated anyone who harmed the Muhammadan nation. What kind of force would that have been? People are scared of ants in certain countries. When they see a flock of ants coming, they run because they know these army ants, red ants, they will attack you if you're in their way. Look and two billion Muslims, they kill them left and right and there's not a reaction from anywhere. So Allah gives us many lessons in your spiritual life, at least build your spiritual communication and your reality and it's not the head that you need but the heart that has to be developed. And if your heart develops and builds a love for Prophet you gather around the shaykh because of your love for Prophet When people come to the Mawlid it's like seeing ants, worker ants. They say, where are these people coming from? How are all these people doing these things? But because that's the reality, when they gather around for a, for a central love which is the love and the pleasure of Prophet that he will take our, our deeds and our actions to the presence of Allah People collectively come together for one purpose, devoid of their nafs, their egos and bad characteristics. So it means there's so much to learn from all of these realities that Allah is putting within the surahs, especially for the ways of haqqaiq. That to develop our senses better than Allah gave to the animal kingdom if it's possible. And if we do, what would we achieve of characteristics? Imagine people whom were all loyal like a dog from Ashab al kahf Loyal, you know that the owner when he harms the dog, the dog just stays there and does it again and comes back again. Why do people have such a love for pets? Because they provide an unconditional love. When they're happy, when they're sad or when they're mean that pet still provides unconditional love for the person. Why are they popular in last days? It's because people don't trust the love of each other anymore. They don't find unconditional love in people, they find a very violent, aggressive and unnatural love within people who wish to harm each other. They wait for one difficulty and want to attack. But Allah gives to us that, look this is a nation that should be loving and respecting all creatures and if you can match at least the characteristic of these creatures Imagine what the nation would be able to achieve and what a community can achieve and the tariqahs and our Naqshbandi group and SNC group they do achieve by putting their faith in action, collectively following the shaykh, following the meditation, following the knowledges.
so that they can act in a communal response and communal character in which for the better of the community they achieve great things. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmat Muhammad al Mustafa bi sir Surat al Fatiha. As alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.